we were just here and I was telling you guys, if you see a book, sorry, the, the something happened to the live. If you see a book, let me know which one you picked. Let me know. Let's see. The first book that you pick, we will read from. What's up, my George? What's George? What do you want, baby? Here, I'm just going to pick a book myself because this is taking too long. It's called Tell Me Why. Very exciting stuff here. Tell Me Why. Um, here we are. Um, all right. Answers to hundreds of questions children ask. Because, you know, we're all children. We never grow up. What's up, George? I'm making your food right now. I'm doing a live. Can I pay you the live? I love you. Do you want a treat? Okay, come here. I give you treats. Do you want a treat? Sending love. Thank you, guys. My dog is a... I hear you. Jeez, George. Okay. Come here. Come, Georgie. Get the treat. There you go. Okay. I bought me some time. Okay. I'm just going to go. How do we digest food? Here's a good one. Taking food into our bodies is not enough to keep us alive and growing. The food must be changed so that it can be used in the body, and this is a process called digestion. Digestion starts when food is put into the mouth, chewed and swallowed, and continues in the alimentary canal, which is long, partly coiled tube going through the body. All parts of the canal are joined together, but they are different in the way they work. The mouth opens into a wide pharynx. In the throat, which is a passage used for both food and air, the esophagus passages through the test and connects the pharynx and stomach. The stomach leads into the coil, small intestine. The last part of the alimentary channel, channel is the colon or large intestine. Oh, thank you guys. I'm supposed to do a Zoom uh, reading with a director right now, and I'm just waiting to see if he's going to respond. I hope he's okay. <laughs> What's up, George? I know, Georgie. This is interesting. What are vitamins? The word vitamin means life. Did you know that, guys? Okay, George. Yeah. I don't, do you want to come on live stream here? Guys, I'm going to have to put... George wants food. I know. He wants his dinner. But I'm doing a live stream, George. Can you wait like 10 minutes? Or you want to be on camera? Okay. Here you go. His name is George Francesca. He's the best baby. What's up? This is my dog, George. <laughs> His name is George Francesca, if you want to follow him on Facebook. He totally has an account. Right, George? You have an account on Facebook? Are you happy now? Yeah. Are you happy? Do you want more treats? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'm just sitting here now. He's so cute. Oh, my goodness. He's so cute. Just gonna put them like this. All right. Okay, guys, we're just sitting here. Um, I like this book. Tell me why. Until the 19th century, a peculiar and dangerous disease called scurvy used to cause serious illness among the crews of, of sailing ships all over the world. Late in the 18th century, it was discovered that eating the fresh fruits and vegetables cured the disease. It took scientists 100 years to find this out because fresh foods contain vitamins. Because they didn't have the same exact chemical nature of these vitamins, they didn't know, give them names. They simply call vitamins A, B, C, D, etc. Let us see why some vitamins are necessary for good health. Isn't that interesting, guys? Hi, love. Hey, Rhett. How are you doing? Um, going through this book called Tell Me Why. Why do we get thirsty? Ooh, I'm th I'm, I am thirsty. All right, I'm going to talk about these. Oh, here, wait. I, I think I got the Zoom. Can we aim to tomorrow if that's okay? Sorry. It was a crazy drive up north. Um, uh, sure. No worries. But ready now if you still All right, well, <laughs> that happens. So kind of thirsty right now. You know what I have? We're talking about fresh fruits. I went to my one of my favorite thrift stores here in Los Angeles. It's a new one. I found it with Sean C. Phillips when I was going to shoot 
our last movie. Uh, it's called All Things and More. I'm not sure if anyone from LA is here, but they have, it's like a junkyard uh, prop house. Oh, yes, he's 14 too. Yeah, my baby is 14. Right, Georgie? Your pet is beautiful. Thank you, Augusto. What are you doing today? Right now, I am just uh, peeling an orange. Please take good care and well indeed. Thanks, Rick. I am just here. Peeling my orange. Hey, from Denver. What's up, Denver? Getting requests. Why? Why am I peeling an orange? I don't know, because I just read about vitamins and I thought, oh, I should eat this. It was on my table. <laughs> like, I need to eat this. It's good for me. You have a lovely figure. Thank you, Rick. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up, Kat Catherine? So, Catherine, um, this store that I like, I think it's in Sun Valley, uh, kind of close to Sherman Oaks. It's called All Things and More. And they have literally like all like just it's I, I don't know how I found it I was we were driving around looking for yard sales because uh, we needed Christmas decorations for the Christmas movie and it was so cool it has all sorts of weirdness there um, just like we got these like dolls oh thank you crystal yeah he's my baby he has just been you know he's just he's just been the best the best dog ever hold on all right maybe i will facetime this director we'll see we'll see just waiting on it sorry guys so i'm i'm up for a few more movies which is really cool i'll check it out yeah i love thrift store shopping that is my guilty pleasure and um when we were doing the movie, it's so much cheaper to get the props at thrift stores or like junkyards, just cause it's, everything adds up. Like everyone's like, oh my God, you raised all this money. And then it's like, it all goes so quickly. Like it's so, uh, so much. But yeah, I'm excited to eat this orange. And it was fun to have so many of my friends here and we shot it at my house and it was great first time watching thank you janine what's going on how is your weekend lauren i'm good you know just uh having my dog in my lap right now i did go in the pool a lot which was good um i'm going back to new york on tuesday uh and then i spend my summers in new jersey so that should be fun i don't know when i'm going but looking forward to seeing all my friends there mm. You know, going in my lake. One of my neighbors actually is nominated for a Tony. Mm. Jamie said, how about you eat pizza? I wish I had pizza. I've been craving some New York pizza. When I go back to New York, oh my God, I will get pizza. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I try so hard to be positive, you know? You always have to be positive because if you're negative, then negative things happen. But if you're positive, then you know, positive things happen. <laughs> You're making me hungry. Sorry. I got this from All Things and More. They give you, when you go shopping there, they give you an orange. So I got the orange and now I'm eating it. You always love to eat and don't Oranges aren't very fattening. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah. Mm, thank you guys so much. I'm just sitting here waiting to see if I'm going to have to Skype right now or FaceTime with this director. I want to make sure I stay on top of projects because, you know, acting is my job. Oh my God. Oh, thank God, Crystal. That is such a, that's such a uh, relief. 
Whenever you get good results, it's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. George isn't fixed, so. I get nervous. I do. Hmm. You are fun to watch. God bless you. Thank you. I'm just sitting here talking to y'all. Having a time. Oh, all right. Well, guys, let me, uh, let me do this call now. I love you all so much. I'm eating an orange, orange you lad. You tuned in tonight? No? Kind of, kind of funny? I don't know. All right. Thanks for watching and hanging out and, and hearing about my day. Um, Right, I was reading a Tell Me Why. Uh, these are old books that I got at a thrift store because I thought it was cool and, you know, we're all kids. And, and sometimes the explanation to everyday things we don't know. And it's just good to, to have a book where you can kind of like look up anything in life. Like, you know, was there ever such a, such a bird as the dodo? Why do elephants have trunk trunks? How can a snake move without legs? Like all of these things. Can animals understand each other? That's interesting. I want to know if animals can understand each other. On page 312. I was going to leave and then I got distracted. Let's see. Oh, what is colorblindness? Just like simple things. Um, let's see. Oh, can a person be hypnotized against his will? Ooh. Interesting animals taste can animals see color I don't speak any other languages besides uh, uh, if you just want to see my movies you can just go to imdb dot me slash Lauren Francesca can animals understand each other if we mean animals can communicate with each other this is pass on certain messages by signs and sounds the answer is yes if we mean can they talk to each other as we do the answer is no even among human beings, all communication is not by means of words. We have expressions to indicate anger, a shrug of the shoulder to indicate indifference, nodding and shaking of the head, gestures with the hands, and so on. Oh, thank you for the stars. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, um, Renzo Dennis uh, Atina Guiande. Thank you. Hmm. That was so close. I almost got the orange on my book mm -hmm. yeah my New York uh, PO box is a dance studio mm -hmm. my LA one is in my Instagram page if you want to go there um, but I'm leaving on Tuesday so I would say if you have anything to send me send it to New York I have a lot of pictures to mail back I'm gonna um, autograph those actually I got to do a lot of autographing because uh, a lot of people sent me photos and I will get it to the post office I promise but anyway guys I love you all I gotta do this call I saw a video and your friend dancing and that was hilarious <laughs> thank you yeah I was on my other page on my other page okay I love you guys bye